Welcome back to another HGV vlog. Currently heading up to Leicester. It is minus two degrees, so it's pretty cold outside. Late start this morning. What I started at 5 a.m. Hence saw the traffic. I don't normally see this traffic when I start work. I normally start around 3, 4 a.m. The earliest I've actually started is 1 a.m. 20 minutes to go. It was a two hour drive to where I'm going. Got two drops on the back. And then I got to see what I got to do after that. So not quite sure what um, is on today later on. It's going to be a good day because I don't have a curtain side eye. We've got a box trailer on the back. Prefer the box trailers, especially in this weather. It's uh, now gone down to minus three degrees. So yeah, I got 20 minutes to go to my first drop. And yeah, I'm going to see what happens I mean it's a lot of traffic on today let's try get some reversing clips on and we're finally here at the first um, drop in Leicester this was actually meant to be here uh, six this morning and what is the time it's eight o'clock TL. Okay, mate, that's great. You know where to go, yeah? Yep. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you. So, are we going to get a bay straight away? I think they've only got two bays uh, down here. Hopefully there's nobody here because I'm not that early. Hopefully people have already been and they've gone. Oh. It's best to do this without your seatbelt on. First reverse of the day doesn't always go right, trust me. Well, for me, it doesn't always go right. It's a little warm up. I always call the first reverse a warm up. Let's see, is there anybody there on the bays? Two. 
You know what? When I'm talking and reversing, I can't actually do it, so I have to concentrate because you're guiding that trailer. Um, if I leave it there. If I'm opening the doors, I literally prefer to use these gloves because they're nice and warm. the first drop easy life so this one's out the way drop number one going to my last drop now um, which is like five minutes away from here that's why I'm not navigating there because it's just around the corner and that is gonna be the last drop at that one they actually took half an hour just for five pallets but it depends what they had going on in there as well so i mean they work hard you can't really complain because they're doing their thing as well oh, i've got my lights on next one just around the corner time is 8:52 and this one has 10 pallets i believe i think it's actually paperwork says 10 but i think it's a little bit more than that i'm not entirely sure it looks like it's more than that in the back so we're gonna find out sun's coming out it's still minus two um, yeah I'm best off doing the doors here actually Freezing, mate. No, it's not going to go. Tight. That's tight. 
Jeez. Oh my God. We've done it. We've done it. Yep, that would do. Oh, last drop and then Let's see what we've got to do next. That um, last drop is done, and now I have one hour drive to Newark. I've got to do a trailer swap. So I'm leaving this trailer there and then picking up a different trailer that's already been loaded. And then after that, it's back to the depot, which is going to be around three hour drive. So the time now is 10 past 10. You get there for 11, trailer swab. Uh, two, three, yeah. So finish around 3 p.m. So which isn't too bad because I started at 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah, I know, kind of stopped for a Domino's. I don't know why I was craving them cookies. But yeah, so that's what I've got on at the moment. And I've got to get back early today apparently because well not early because this one's got to go in for service um yeah but hopefully it's back for tomorrow because i don't feel like driving anything else because once you get used to driving one vehicle all the time and then you jump in something else it's a bit Annoying because then you got to get used to that again and then get back in this one Then you got to get used to this again. I would say Scania is actually the best trucks that they make out there I don't know any other truck. I don't even like the Mercedes the Actros I think Scania is actually the best truck I've ever driven DAF I'm not really a fan of I don't like the way they drive Volvo um, I don't like the interior. I mean Volvo is a comfortable but they don't feel as big as this thing is inside and the interior wise is not um, that good on the Volvo so I just prefer the Scania the Scania drives nice, comfortable feels big inside um, yeah the Scania, which one's that? S730 V8 That's definitely got to be bigger than this. This is only the S500. That's S730, never even heard of it. So what would you say is the easiest job out there apart from driving? Driving is, it is pretty easy. I know a lot of people that complain about it. Long days, long shifts, but you're sat down, you're driving, you're not really doing much. You're getting paid to sit down and concentrate. <laughs> But what is like the most easiest job? I'm not, I don't even know. Apart from driving, leave it in the comment section below. I mean, if you're in London, it, this is actually pretty hard. Luckily, you can't take this truck that I've got through London. I made that mistake. Yeah, so this one cannot go through London. It's not London qualified shall we say i don't want to talk too much on that there's some regulations these vehicles have to meet to actually be driving through london so yeah i've got a bit of a drive uh 57 minutes to go now it's literally just a straight road um yeah not that busy this time of year it's probably gonna start picking up uh very soon if you're on agency you know how it goes yeah christmas time busy january february march time Hardly any work. I mean, there's work, but you get um, a few shift drops and After that middle of the year starts to pick up Christmas time it gets busy again Same thing over and over 
agency drivers. You all know how it goes. It's the industry. It's how it works. A little update before today's vlog is finally over. Um, I've done the trailer swap, so I've dropped off the MT1. I've picked up a full trailer. I've now got a three hour and 20 minute drive back to the yard. And as you can see, these trailers are getting loaded up uh, for other people to come and pick up, basically. So just done my 45 minutes break. I uh, just finished that. And this one is going in for service. Uh, my phone's not even plugged in, I'm turning it down. Yeah, so this one's going in for service uh, as soon as I get back. I get back at 10 to 4. Yeah, so nice long drive from Newark and fully loaded. So let's drive back. Can even feel it in the steering wheel. And that is literally a day um, as a truck driver. <laughs> it's pretty hard, isn't it? It's pretty hard being a truck driver. Um, yeah. So I managed to get some sleep in, get a little rest in on the bed whilst I was on my break. So I've got enough time to get back. And I believe this one is going in into Swindon, Scania to get the service done. And yeah, that is basically it for today. Started at five, finished at four. Most of the time it's not normally this easy or this short of a day. You don't normally get short days like this. Uh, but yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? So, Gonna enjoy my three hours and 20 minute drive back. And that will be it for today. Sun's shining and my wipers, I oh know, they're back. My screen wash was frozen. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn left, Kirklington Road. Has it broken down or is he having a break? Probably drove out and forgot he needed a break. <laughs> Been there, done that. Drive out, look at your taco, you're like, oh, I need a break. Yeah. So, um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you press that thumbs up button, leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to press the subscribe button for more vlogs until then i'll see you guys in the next After video yards, left, let's go